Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Yay! Today, we're gonna talk about the Netflix show, American Nightmare. Now, if you don't want spoilers, do not watch this. I want to talk about the narcissism that I saw in the boyfriend. Okay, now, this was going on around where I lived um, in 2015. I mean, it was only like um, an hour, hour and a half away or whatever, and I heard that something was going down like Gone Girl. This girl got kidnapped out of her boyfriend's house and then showed up uh, not that long after down in Southern California at her father's home. And the cops just totally threw her under the bus and was like, she kidnapped herself. When uh, just a little bit later, the guy who actually kidnapped her had a record of kidnapping other people, caught him and finally set her name free. But when the kidnapping went down, the boyfriend and girlfriend um, were only dating for a few months. Now, what came out in the show was that the guy was going to target boyfriend's ex-girlfriend, not new girlfriend. Okay? That's not um, the yucky part. The yucky part is that he was still trying to get back together with his ex while still with his girl he told the cops this ex-girlfriend was like yeah we had a super bad breakup and he was still trying to get this girl back into his life he said that he that the um, ex-girlfriend cheated and so he was having a hard time now his parents said that he used to break hearts left and right what happens when a narcissistic person breaks everybody's heart and his heart never gets broken and then he meets a girl who breaks his heart for once well he no he isn't gonna he's gonna fall into a complete vulnerable state he's gonna collapse He's going to be in so much emotional distress that he's going to think that this is true love and I got to get you back because you're causing all of um, not just rejection, but now you're digging into some sort of abandonment um, bullshit that I have never felt before because I always leave. I always leave. Nobody rejects me. I'm done with you. You know, I used up the whole relationship and it's over and I move on. You know, we're like locusts, locusts of love. Anyway, so the boyfriend, um, he is having an emotional breakdown, trying to get back the ex. The girlfriend goes missing. The cop thinks that um, they got into a fight over his little emotional affair going on and killed her and all this stuff. Now, it comes out that that didn't happen, that the girlfriend didn't even make up a fake kidnapping and did the whole gone girl thing, you know. But um, when she shows back up, and comes back to the boyfriend. She's telling the boyfriend um, because she was raped. And she says, I don't want you to be with me because you pity me. You know, being raped and everything like that and all this shit. And because he probably feels guilty doing the emotional affair shit. And then, you know, she goes off and gets raped and all that crap. And he's, you know, crying and, you know, and he, he fucking feels bad and shit, you know? He can't, he can't just fucking toss her to the side. He could, but he'd look like a piece of shit, <laughs> you know? I, this totally sounds like Gone Girl when Ben Affleck finds out that his wife is pregnant 
And he's like, I'm leaving you. I don't give a shit. And then she's like, I'm going to fucking smear you, throw your ass under the bus. Everybody's going to hate you, and so is your child. And he was fucking pissed, but he knew that he couldn't leave, you know? And he was trauma bonded to her, so he really didn't want to go, even though he knew that he should go. But this kept him, you know, with her anyway. Anyway, boyfriend um, isn't um, taken off. So he stays with her and they end up at the end of the show, they end up getting married and they have two little girls now, okay? When you look at his face throughout the whole show, there is no joy in this man. There's no happiness, there's no gratefulness. He's crying, but he's not over the moon, you know? I mean, you see him smile at his wedding and shit, but they're playing and running and the kids and kissing the kid. He is not full of joy or he's just so fucking happy. He wanted the girl that told him to fuck off. The last toxic thing that I forgot was all three of them were working in the same hospital and the same department, which was the physical therapy apartment. They all work together. So what does a narcissistic person do when you cheat on them? So you are discarding the narcissistic person and they're just like, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. And, you know, she's like, no, I don't want nothing to do with you. You know, you're toxic as shit. She's probably toxic as shit. She cheated. <clears throat> and then, so what does he do? He goes and dates somebody in their same department to try to make his ex jealous. Now, I'm sure maybe working on this girl a little bit because the cop did call it, or he called it to the cop. Um, I wasn't physically cheating it was emotionally cheating so i think that he would have gotten his ex back over time you know but then the universe intervened <laughs> whatever so it's only three episodes long if you watch it please pay attention to that part now I ruined it for you anyways because you know that um, nobody made up nothing, nobody killed nobody, okay? Um, it does make him look bad because he was trying to get back with his ex, but I do want you to see how, um, you know, he's toxic shit. His ex is a toxic shit. Even the ex was like saying hi to the new girlfriend and the new girlfriend was ignoring her and stuff. So you know that he was smearing the shit out of the girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, to new girlfriend, you know? Whatever, dude. Anyway, so if you're bored, watch that shit and see what I was picking up on y'all. All right. Netflix, American Nightmare. All right. Hope that was fun for you. Have a great day. Namaste.